hey everyone this is the boy jc um i just want to show you guys my lg cx 65 inch tv i have for over two months i just want to do a little quick talk about it and my likes about this television for one i love this tv um if you look at my videos i had a, a sony x 100h i got it for a very good price at um at best buy had to return it because it was too big for my bedroom <laughs> and um the second tv i got and that tv the sony x 100h was a very good tv especially for those who got next gen um, consoles like the ps5 and the uh, xbox series x or s that was a very great tv very big you know sony those things grew good when it comes to motion and color is great and um i had to return it because it was too big and um what i do i get the sony i think it was there i don't remember the the the, no, the the model number but it was an oled tv that oled tv was great because it, it, it was thicker but it did not have HB, hdmi 2.2 and that's a deal breaker if you have next gen games so i got this lg and i'm in love with it let me show you some things i like about it i like the build quality the build quality this thing is very thin look at this paper thin i like it wobbly wobbly <laughs> anyway you got for the stand you got this thing in the back let's see if you can zoom in a little bit to show y'all zoom in yeah right there buddy this thing right here, it helps to hold the TV in place with the front. And this thing is heavy. I'm gonna warn y'all now, if you buy this LG TV, this sucker right here is heavy. I think it's almost 50 pounds, but it holds the TV in place. Trust me on that. And um, let me go back out here. And this TV, if y'all didn't know, this TV comes with a screen protector. Yes, it does. And uh, most TV does, yes, but this one, if I show you right here, if I did not tell you, you wouldn't even know that the TV got a screen protector. It looks normal, right? But let me show you right here in the top corner. You see this label right here? This right here? I peel it to get the screen protector, but I kept this bad boy on. You know why? Let me tell you the reason why I kept it on. Because sometimes when you get a brand new TV, you wipe it down and everything looks good. Then for some odd reason, you know you don't drink no juice, you know you, you know you ain't got no water gun or none, whatever to leave any water box on the TV. Next thing you know, you see these little spots like juice being spilled on it or water spilled on it. I don't like it. And especially for screens so delicate and I got kids, man, and I, and I work hard for mines. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, when I, so if I come home and see a little scratch on the screen, I'm going to go ballistic. And um, like I said, I kept this TV on, still got my screen protector. Oh, hey, go back here. <laughs> and I have not any problems with it. It's, 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 if you look carefully right here, you can see a little bubble, a little bubble right here, with the ear, ear pocket. And uh, it's, it's not, it's, I haven't had an issue with it. It's pretty good. And uh, I, think, I think it got some cool features, which I want to show you all real quick. This TV, I think it got the A, I think it's the A3 chip, the third generation chip. Which, which I think is very good. It, it does good in learning, learning things that you do. And one thing I really love about LG, they have they, they have the amazing sound for TVs. Cause with most um, th um TVs that are very thin screens, the speakers tend to be choppy. But this little board right here, this little board right here on the LG TV, what it does, it, it projects the sound out. So you got a more full sound. It sounds come out more full, and it, to me, it, it it's come out very heavy. That's what I love about LG. It, 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 their sounds is very punchy, very bassy. I, I love it. And um, that's for a few things I want to go to show y'all. It got some very interesting features. This TV learns learns things. What the more you use it, the more it learns. And um, right here in um, I think it's all in our settings. I want to show y'all. Oh, first thing first, network. Connecting this bad boy to your network is very fast. It does not stutter or nothing. Um, I use the Wi-Fi sometimes, but since I got it in my room, I got my wonderful alien right here. And trust me guys, if you want the best Wi-Fi router for your house, and this is a Wi-Fi 6, the next gen, give you best speed, get an alien Wi-Fi router 6, Wi-Fi 6 router. This may cost almost $400, but 
but it gives you a very good i think the box it says this thing alone gives you 3000 square feet coverage and i tested for myself and it's very good the signal is robust you're gonna love it so i um connected um wired and everything been pretty smooth i like to watch youtube tv and um everything is just connect smooth i never have any glitch with this tv it's great um let me go to generals right here real quick to show you all some of the cool features you got for the ai service yes this right here you got um some cool features it's got the ai brightness ai picture mode ai brightness auto genre um, selection ai sound pro and air acoustic tuning why did i turn it off but anyway <laughs> let me tell you something um i like to use the air picture pro uh for some reason i don't know why it's off maybe i did but my tv is on ai sound pro and let me tell you one thing in the, instead of me talking to you let me put it right here to read it for y'all with the ai sound pro what it does which i love i'll put it right here so you can see because of the a3 chip that's a third generation chip um, edge using the tv is very smart it learns it learns everything on the fly whatever throw at it it learns it by by algorithm and it gives you the best for example in the air in the as1 pro it got it says it provides it provides the optimal sound or virtual 5.1 surround depending on the watching genre by a by an algorithm learned via a lg deep learning technique this is cool this setting is only available for internal tv speakers and trust me i play my ps5 on it i watch some movies on it and it sounds like i got a surround sound it is beautiful you're gonna love it in case y'all didn't know the lg with the a3 chip is a beast believe me on that and it kills the sony that i had only thing i like about the sony for example let me go back right here real quick it's your paper thing this lg is the sony one was like a few inches thicker which i liked but this paper thing is sexy but if you got little kids you got to be very careful because <laughs> you don't want them to touch it and, it and it will break all right anyway go back to here uh what else yes the air picture air picture pro let me go right here no i'll give you a bit of view i'm sorry sorry fellas the air picture pro on the lg tv let me go back go right here so you can read it for y'all it, again the ai the ai3 chip that the lg uses is very intelligent it learns everything the more you use it for the ai picture pro enhance the resolution and sharpness of contents by an algorithm learned via a lg deep learning technique and optimize a deep through contents analyst it does not work with copyrighted content <laughs> anyway i'm going to turn it on because i like it the AI brightness control. The screen brightness is automatically adjusted in accordance with the brightness around your TV. That's some things you can use, things you could consider, which I think is cool. And this thing called auto genre selection. Automatically adjust to a picture value optimized for content genre. It doesn't work with copyright content. Okay, whatever that is. But um, and you got right here, AI recommendations. Let me click that and see what it is. Set detailed options for the recommended features. Let's click and see what it is right here. Who, where, where, what. Content recommended to all of these things. And sports alert. I don't really care about sports alert all that much. Oh, see, you can do that. You can select it and then set my team, team alarm. So if you got like a favorite sport team, like football, soccer, basketball, it does all of that. But I don't really care much about that. For the sound for the sound you got the dolby atmos which is <laughs> like i said this thing is good man the sounds on this thing is even i tell you the highest volume i could turn it up to is like 14 or my wife's gonna scream to turn it turn it down because it's so loud because she's, she's she she works from home and she's all the way in the living room and i got this in my bedroom that thing will be rumbling the walls be rumbling and she's like turn it down it's good man and the, like i said this bad boy here the as pro is good if you don't have the money to get a surround sound or a sound bar, this is going to be good enough. Because like I said, this right here, this little metal thing right here, how it projects the sound, man, you're gonna, it's, gonna, it's, it's, it's a beast. So with picture mode, I'm going to picture. 
let's go back here. My favorite mode is filmmaker. Filmmaker, let me, let me read right here. No, 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 that's not it. But what you like about filmmaker mode, it's it like, for example, like it depends on the movie it, you're watching. And um, if the content got it, it's going to bring out the, the quality on the screen. So I, like I said, I watch a few movies. And I'm not care about, I don't care much about movies as I get older. But everything looks great. And uh, when you get this TV, it's going to come with engine saver on, which is good. But I turn it off. Because when I turn it off, the TV comes to life. All the quality, the pictures, the colors, everything comes to life. Engine saver, it cuts a lot of these things down for energy saving purposes. So you won't get as much. If you care about the environment and you care about saving some money, you can do that, but you're gonna the you picture quality and some other things are gonna be lacking. And you got some cool um screen service which I like. Like for example, you're looking at something right here that's gonna be it with the TV, that's fine. And the thing I like about this LG it comes with its own channels. You got the LG channels, you got a whole lot of them. But the thing is, what you got to do, you got to make sure that um, you got a good internet connection and um, it's going to assert, it's going to give you a whole bunch. And then you got the support right here. You see like a smiley face right here for the support. You click it right here. And this is where you're going to go when you want to do a software update for your TV. I'll go down to support and you're going to see it for software update. This is the TV information, notifications, user guide, quick help. It, this the LG, they got a whole lot of features and options on their television. And it is not overwhelming. It's easy to learn. It's very easy to use. Trust me, this TV is plug and play. And um, one thing I notice about this TV a lot, when I connect it to my PlayStation 5, it recognizes it right away. And I even use my magic one right here to move contents all over my PlayStation 5. But you can't play the games. I'm going to show you guys that in a quick second. Software update. It is imperative whenever you get any TV, LG, Samsung, Sony, make sure you always click look for software update and put it on automatic. So that's what I do. This is the latest software one I got. Software version 3.21.18. Let's check for the interest of time, see if we got anything there. No updates found. Okay, fine by me. <laughs> so let me go back out here real quick. Go back out. The wallpaper is cool, see? <laughs> got like a thing like a picture frame, it got a wooden look, it got this like a nice oil, oil paint, uh, oil paint looking thing in the background, can look authentic. With every screen screen um saver picture come up, you got you got like this um imitation picture of like real wood for the trimmings. <laughs> you see that? That's pretty cool. So you got some nice artwork. Let's see the home button real quick. The home button. You got the LG store where you can go and uh, download some contents. These are some things I got. I got Facebook Watch, Haystack, Paramount. These are all the things I got in the LG store and it's very easy to use. You got um, Twitch. You could scroll on um, stream Twitch on your LG TV. You got YouTube t Kids, Plex. You got the Google Play Store, a Play Movie, which I love. This is my favorite go to streaming right now. I don't use Hulu, I use YouTube TV. They're very good. And they're getting up in price, but uh, but I love every bit of it. And they're working on sending out 4K contents where you can stream a few channels, maybe not much, in 4K contents, which is good. Most of the contents right now is at 1080p at 60 FPS. So if you got YouTube TV, select 10, 1080 60 FPS, and it's gonna you're gonna be having fun. Spotify, I never really use it that much. Got Funimations, got Redbox. Got all of that in it on your TV, you got stars, all these paramount. It's pretty cool. The, the store, the content store is very simple to use. And um, you got these right here on your remote. It's just it's a press and go for the Netflix and Prime Video. Very easy. And this is the LG free channels. Let's click it right here, see what we got. So you pop up on the TV right here. And this works if you have internet connection. See, you got a whole bunch of stations right here. Uh, I um see it pops up right there. You can select it as you go. So if you're a person that don't want to spend money on on um on cable and um spend money on streaming, and you're okay with just watching some regular programming, this is the way to go. See, you got a whole lot. You got um Zuma, Black Black Cinema. 
got uh, this is a few right here Nashville Channel, ABC News Now, ABC News Live, CBS, and Local Now, Bloomberg. You got a whole lot. You got Time. I think I have over 200 or maybe almost 300. And this and the channels is powered by Zumo right here. Powered by Zumo. Very awesome. You got law and law and crime. I, I like I like to watch things with law and crime. Um, you got um Canadian News, TYT, Black News Channel, Cheddar, which is very popular with a lot of people to use. You got USA Today, man. This thing got a lot. I ain't going into it. Even got this thing. If you want to have a good time, a little comedy, it's got just for laughs. And these are the channel numbers right here. Two or three, two or two. That's all it is. It's a hot. I have a whole lot. Let's see. Scroll up. How much I stop at? So for the, just for the sake of time, see a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. You got um, you got Zuma Kids TV right here. Let's click for the interest of time. See what's his, what's his um in it. Zuma Kids. Huh, let's see what. He, okay. Gecko, what is? Gecko's Garage. I don't really care about that. You got um, Players TV, whatever that is. Daytime block, pocket watch, nursery rhyme times. Let's click nursery rhyme time. Maybe that's for people that got um, little kids at home. See? And the picture quality is sweet. Yeah, man. Okay. Enough of this. I love, I love everything that LG is throwing. So let me go get my um, PlayStation 5 controller and um, turn this on. But like I said, with this, I think um, between this and the Samsung, I like the LG ones better. Let me go out some more. See me like a filter room. <laughs> That's fine. But I think between Amazon, I think between LG and Samsung, I like LG one better. But LG's colors are more vibrant, especially in OLED. And um, the IPS panel, I had an LG TV with the IPS panel. It's pretty good too. So don't let nobody tell the IPS panel is crap. It all depends. And the IPS panel is pretty decent. So let me let me let me click out of this. No oh, shoot. Then we got Mr. Bean. <laughs> Let's click three quick. Mr. Bean and Friends. Oh dang, they got a channel for Mr. Beans and Friends. What are people saying about Oh it's on commercial now, but that's cool. But anyway, let me turn on my PlayStation 5 for y'all real quick. And I got the digital the digital right here. Only at Zaxby's. Okay, so it's a PS5 now. Let me go, let me go get my PS5 up on deck. Boom, right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Got my PlayStation controller. I'm gonna put it down on the ground. Boom. Okay, good. You see my ashy feet? Yeah, I know I need lotion. <laughs> but anyway, all right. See, that's my that's my ugly avatar right there. No, actually, my avatar is sexy. So see, I'm gonna use my controller right here. Okay, what did I do wrong? I guess it hates me now. I'm gonna move this up real quick. I, I did it before. I did it before. Okay, what did I do wrong? See, okay, I'm using my um my controller right here. You can see my controller on top of the screen. I can move the left to right. Everything right here. I can move down. I can select. But the problem is you just can't play any games. You can't use the you can't use the the one controller to control your characters on the on the screen. <laughs> For example, I'm gonna just use it to cut, to select um Final Fantasy. See, right here, I can select it, <laughs> but it just can't play, <laughs> which I think that's pretty cool. But going back out here, you got um some other features right here, and um for my two weeks ex for two months experience with this TV it's been it's been spectacular it's been spectacular um let me just um do this real quick i'm gonna hit a new game i just want to hear want to get here a little bit of the sound from the lg tv it's gonna be a quick one not to bore y'all let's have like a sound from the tv uh just uh, some basic some basic all right let me crank it up to um, my volume. Is that 16? Well, check this out real quick. Very nice. You see the sharpness? 
Let's enjoy this quick cinema for a minute. I'm not going to be long with y'all. Thank you guys for being patient. I really appreciate you guys. And like I said, I'm just doing this. I'm doing these videos for the fun of it. I enjoy what I do, and I want to share my my joy with you guys. Okay. And I don't really want to turn it up too much. I don't. Know if, I don't know if you can hear it. Let me back up so much. I'm sorry. Final Fantasy VII is a cinema masterpiece and an OLED TV just makes it even much better. <laughs> oh, tell you what, man. Let's see the sound, just make sure it's on um, AI Sound Pro. You see right here? Okay. Hear that? The AI, the AI Sound Pro. You see? You see the dry lease right there? And it's the, 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 the TV, the algorithm does it so well. It like it zoom in whatever the camera is zooming on. It like it focuses sound on a particular a particular object. Just like you saw earlier with the dry with the dry dry leaf right there, the sound was detailed to that dry leaf. I tell me they, 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 their AI system is very intelligent and smooth. But I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. But my two weeks with this LG CX, not why, why am I keep on saying two weeks? My two months with the LG CX TV is been nothing but spectacular. Uh, it was the best two thousand dollars I spent, and I don't regret it. And I would recommend this TV for anybody that got a little money to to get get it. I think they got a new LG C1. I what I want to do? I'm gonna save up some money and I'm gonna get it so I can do another review on that TV. But just to let you all know, for a TV with a two point two. At or is it 2.1 for next gen gaming? I would say go with the Sony X900. That's a very great TV for a budget minded people. They got, like I said, they got big screen 75 inch for like $14.99. But you can't go wrong because for $14.99, you're getting 2.2, you're getting um great color, you're getting um Google Play, Google Play with it now, which is awesome. The, the, the everything about it is sweet, but. I love LG just because the user face is simple. So even even using their internet browser is very easy. The app store is very simple. You can find things that you need, and um, the colors, the colors, the, the colors is great. Even the IPS panel is great when it comes to color, and I like the build quality. To show you again, very paper thin. I like paper thin, but if you're on the fence, you got kids and you're scared about it, get the Sony. Because Sony is about this inch thicker or you can get the LG GX which is about this thicker this much thicker the LG GX is thicker cost more money but the LG CX is wall mountable this one you may have a little challenge but the LG GX is more wall mountable all right I thank you guys for watching this um two month experience with me with this TV and um you, this is the host JC if you like you could go ahead you can um subscribe to my channel I'm gonna have more enjoyable content for y'all viewing. And um, hit your likes and leave your comments. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very, thank you again for all you do. And for my new subscriber, I think it's called Dr. Whatever you are. I thank you for watching my videos and subscribing. And um, just everybody stay tuned. I'm gonna put out some more content. I'm working on getting a camera cause my camera broke. I'm still working hard to save up some money to buy a camera. What did I say earlier? A microphone? Yeah, my microphone was broken. If I say camera, my bad. Um, I'm working to get a better microphone because mine's broken. I'm working to get some money to buy me another camera. So I'll do everything out of my pockets. I'm not sponsored by nobody. I'm sponsored by myself, okay? So thank you guys again. And I hope to see you in my next video, okay? Thank you and God bless.